Hi, it's Philip Stein, president of Philip Stein & Associates, with some end-of-the-year tax tips that may save you some money. While the time for harvesting the vegetables and fruits from your home garden may have passed, you still have time to harvest your tax losses. What are harvesting tax losses, you may ask yourself? Well, you need to identify investments that have gone down in value since you purchased them and sell them at a capital loss. Well, how does tax harvesting benefit you? Well, you can now offset any capital gains you recognize during the year and save taxes. What do you need to be aware of to make sure tax harvesting works for you? There are five important things you have to keep in mind. One, capital losses can be short-term or long-term. Two, the assets can be anywhere in the world. Three, make sure you don't repurchase the stock you sold at a loss within 30 days of the sale. Four, the U.S. allows you to offset losses in the stock market against capital gains in real estate. And finally, five, if you have several dates you purchased the stock, you need to identify the stocks that you are selling to make sure you can take the loss. If you take more losses than you can use, the U.S. government still allows you to take an additional $3,000 of those losses against any other type of income. And if there's any still left over, it carries over to next year. I hope this tax tip has helped you, and if you have any questions, please call or write your associate. Thank you.